So we're going to continue. Okay, we're going to continue to the last learning outcome for 5.2. Okay, last learning outcome for 5.2. So your learning outcome is state and apply work energy theorem. Okay, so when your learning outcome is state, awak kena hafal lah ayat ni. Okay, dia kata the work done by the net force on a body equals to the change in the body's kinetic energy. Okay, maksudnya, okay, maksudnya, bila kita buat kerja, okay, when work is done, okay, bila, when work is done, there will be a change in kinetic energy. Okay, so contoh tadi, ingat tak mula-mula kita ada kotak. So, mula-mula kotak itu tak bergerak. Okay, and then lepas tu kita buat work. So, ada external force yang tolak kotak itu. So, kotak pun mula bergerak. So, ada change in kinetic energy lah daripada mula-mula U dia adalah zero. Tiba-tiba maybe sekarang lepas ada force, velocity dia telah menjadi 5 meter per second. For example. Okay. So, dia ada velocity dan dia ada displacement. So, when work is done, akan ada change in velocity. So, bila ada change in velocity, akan ada change in kinetic energy. Okay. So, that is what we call work energy theorem. Okay. So, maksudnya when work is done, Okay, when work is done, there will be a change in kinetic energy. Okay, so this theorem tells us that when work is done on an object, there is a change in kinetic energy. Okay, so equation dia akan menjadi W net, okay, the net of work done akan sama dengan change in kinetic energy. Okay, and change in kinetic energy tu apa? That means 1 over 2 half mv squared tolak dengan half mu squared. So, maksudnya ada velocity change lah dekat situ. Okay. So, how much work is done akan sama dengan change in our kinetic energy. So, lagi banyak. Okay. So, when our work, when we have done more work, more force is applied, kinetic energy dia lagi banyak lah berubah. Okay. Maybe daripada kosong sampai ke 500 meter per second. So, the work done, okay, the net work done causes a change in kinetic energy. Okay, so that's the concept. Okay, so kita terus masuk example lah. Okay, so for example, the first example is example 9. Okay, example 9, it says that a 6 kg block initially at rest. Okay, a 6 kg block initially at rest is pulled to the right along a hori along the horizontal frictionless surface. Okay, surface tu adalah frictionless lah. A horizontal force of 12 newton. So, maksudnya ada force yang tarik dia ke kanan. Okay, find the speed of the block after it has moved 3 meter. Okay, find the speed of the block after it has moved 3 meter. Okay, so we know, okay, so we know work net, okay, work net equals to change in kinetic energy. Okay, so sekarang kita tahu mula-mula the block is at rest. So, kita akan buka lah half mv squared tolak dengan half mu squared. So, ada change in kinetic energy dekat situ. So, dia nak kita cari V sebenarnya. Okay, tapi kita tak ada kita tak ada nilai untuk work. So, kalau kita tak ada nilai untuk work, kita buka equation dia menjadi work punya equation which is Fs cos theta. Okay, this is work punya equation. Okay, so the force yang apply is 12 Newton. Okay, and the displacement, it has moved for 3 meter. So, dia dah bergerak sebanyak 3 meter. So, the displacement is 3 cos and you check your theta force ke kanan displacement you pun ke kanan juga so cos 20 as uh, cos 0 lah theta kita menjadi 0 okay and half mass of the block is 6 6 kg v square is what we are looking for tolak dengan half mass of the block again 6 u kita initially at rest okay initially at rest so 0 square Okay, so kita akan dapat the velocity of the block is 3.46 meter per second. Okay, 3.46 meter per second. So that is how you do it. So kalau yang atas ni, kalau yang equation kat atas ni, yang misbah lagi kita letak dia sebagai work net sahaja. Tetapi kalau kita tak ada work net ni, kita boleh bukakan dia lah kepada Fs cos theta. Okay, ada lagi satu formula juga which is F3. F dot V. So, F V cos theta. Okay. So, we see yang mana yang kita ada. For this case, kita ada displacement. So, kita buka dia kepada F S cos theta. Okay. So, for that, that's example number 9. Very straightforward. Okay. Kita try one more example. Example number 10. 
Okay, example number 10. It says that a block of mass 2 kg slides down a zero slides down 0 0.75 meter and incline plane with a slope downwards at an angle 36.9 below the horizontal. Angle dia adalah 36.9. So kita lukis dulu lah. So we have a slope. Okay, the angle of the slope is 36.9. Okay, then kita ada kotak kat atas ni. Okay, kotak. Okay, kotak kat atas and the kotak is sliding down. Okay, displacement of the kotak adalah ke bawah. Di mana displacement dia adalah sebanyak 0.750 meter. Okay. If the if the block starts from rest, calculate its final speed. So, you can ignore friction. Okay, so tak ada friction lah kat situ. So, bila kita lukis, we know force apa ni tak kata pun dia tolak ke dia... Uh, there is no external force. So, kalau tak ada external force, force apa yang menyebabkan dia slide down? Force yang menyebabkan dia slide down sebenarnya adalah weight dia. Okay. The weight causes the box to slide down. Okay. So, sekarang weight kita lah adalah force kita. So, again kita tulis dulu equation. Okay. Work net. Okay. Work net equals to change in kinetic energy. Okay. Change in kinetic energy. Alright, okay. So, initially change in kinetic energy, kita buka dulu half mv squared tolak dengan half mu squared. Okay, so u dia initially adalah kosong. Untuk f net sama juga, kita buka dia kepada fs cos theta. Cuma force kita sekarang, okay, cuma force kita sekarang adalah disebabkan oleh weight. Okay, force kita sekarang adalah disebabkan oleh weight. So, sekarang dia bergerak in the x component. So, kita kena cari our weight in the x component. Okay, sebelum tu kita cari dulu angle kita. Okay, we cari dulu our angle. So, kalau kat sini is 36.9 degrees. Here is going to be 90 degree. Okay, so angle kita kat sini adalah 53.1 degree. So, theta kita is going to equal to 53.1 degree. Okay, maksudnya betul lah angle between the force. Okay, angle between the force. And the displacement. Okay, angle between the force and the displacement. Displacement kita ke sini. Okay, and weight kita ke bawah. Okay, so kita buka kita buka uh, force ni kepada mg. Okay, S cos theta equals to half mv squared tolak dengan half mu squared. Dia sama je dengan soalan atas. Cuma soalan atas dia adalah pada surface yang horizontal. Cuma sekarang displacement dia dengan weight dia ada angle kat sini. Okay, so displacement kita ke situ. Displacement kita ke bawah macam ni. And weight kita towards this side. So, weight ni adalah force kita lah. So, kita boleh masukkan. Mass dia adalah 2 kg. G dia adalah 9.81. Okay. Uh, and then the displacement and S dia adalah 0.750. Okay, cost angle between the displacement and the force. Force kita adalah weight lah sekarang. So, angle between the displacement and the force is 53.1. So, cost 53.1 equals to half mass dia again 2 kg. V square adalah apa yang kita nak cari. Tolak dengan half mass dia 2 kg. U dia adalah kosong square. Okay, so you put it in your calculator dan kita akan dapat velocity equals to 2.97 meter per second. Okay, 2.97 meter per second. So that is your example 10. And dengan itu, we are done with 5.2.